The Ten Sons. Once upon a time, there were ten sons. They took turns bringing light and warmth to the earth. Each day, one son would travel across the sky from east to west. The sons enjoyed being together. After a while, they did not want to be alone in the sky. One day, the ten sons decided to travel together. They traveled across the sky and were very happy together, but the people on earth were very, very hot. Plants and trees died, rocks melted, and all the water began to dry up. The people of China begged their emperor Yao to tell the sons not to do this ever again. But the ten sons liked traveling together and did not listen to the emperor. Yao asked them again and again to stop traveling together. He explained how hot it was on earth, how the plants could not grow, and the animals had no water to drink. He told them how the people had no food, all because the sons wanted to travel across the sky together. Still, the ten sons did not listen. The emperor did not know what to do. He wanted the sons to be happy but not if it meant Earth had to suffer. Finally, he decided to send his most brave and clever archer, Yi, to talk to the Ten Sons. Yi dressed in his thick cloth uniform to protect himself from the heat. He strapped his bow and arrows onto his back, grabbed his shield, and went off to complete his task. When Yi saw the sons, he asked them to stop traveling together. They did not listen to him. He continued to walk closer and closer to the sons. He held his shield above his head. The heat of the ten sons reflected off Yi's shiny shield and bounced back toward them. Finally, the sons understood how hot their rays were. Yi explained to the sons how they could continue to stay together in the sky. One by one, the sons began to break into pieces. The tiny pieces spread themselves across the sky in all directions until only one sun was left. As the last sun continued to move toward the west, the tiny pieces sparkled throughout the night sky. The emperor and the people of China were thankful, and Earth began to prosper again. <laughs>